Hello guys, it's Rad. Welcome to the channel <clears throat> and uh, welcome to Rad Kutaro. This is going to be Sagittarius Sun, uh, Sagittarius Moon and uh, Sagittarius Rising. Weekly tarot reading for March 11th to March 17th, 2019. And uh, while I'm shuffling the cards, uh, I want to remind you once again that this is going to be a, a general reading for uh Sagittarius is star sign and uh, for that reason I will um, try my best in this video to explain you the meanings of the cards and their synergy in the spread but the reading is going to resonate in a different way or in, and in a different level with every single different Sagittarius. Now if you want more uh, personal touch meaning your personal situation to be analyzed by me through tarot just like I'm doing for the uh, few examples in this video then that is a subject of a private reading and for such you can check out my website uh, which is listed down below in the description of this video and there on the very front page you're going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricing. So uh, going to Sagittarius uh, week here, uh, the first card for them is going to be the Five of Pentacles followed by uh, which is the topic of their week. Uh, one second guys. <coughs> all right, it's all good. <clears throat> so the first card is the five of pentacles marking the topic of their week followed by the second card which is the negative approach toward the situation or what Sagittarius should not do regarding the five of pentacles that is going to be the judgment followed by the third card which is the positive approach toward the uh toward the topic of the week and that is going to be the uh emperor <clears throat> so what you should do regarding the situation and the third one, uh, the last one, excuse me, the fourth one is going to be the uh, final outcome of growth should you follow the guidance of tarot that it has with these couple of cards. So once again, <clears throat> five of pentacles, then it is the judgment. After that, what we do have is going to be uh, the emperor and the last one that is going to be the seven of pentacles. All right. So um, Sagittarius is uh, that week, um, it's uh, going to be a, a week where uh, things are, are going to be a bit uncomfortable for you. With the five of pentacles here sitting on a prime position, it means that uh, you may fall into certain states of insecurity. But the thing with, uh, with this reading is that, in that this insecurity is not created by you. Long story short, the first thing that comes to my mind, someone fucks up into your career, but this is, but you have nothing to do with it. So it is from where, you know, those uh, problems come around and uh, it is from where, where everybody suffers. Now, the thing with the five of pentacles, apart from showing that there are going to be difficulties on multiple fronts, it does point as well that you should maintain your mental stability or like um, or mental strength, meaning uh, falling into despair and panicking. It is the last thing you want to do. Second of all, uh, with the five of pentacles, it is uh, it is best to know that these things are trifles. OK, and that it is not the end of the world should they appear uh, at that place or in another meaning career or relationship wise. Looking at these cards, guys, it just comes to my mind here that uh, that whole thing, it could be as well that someone may attempt to frame you for something or to make you a um, um, how can I place it a, a victim of the circumstances to uh, blame you over a fault that they have did and so on and so forth. So <clears throat> that's why with the five of pentacles, once again, it is important not to panic. But yeah, throughout the week, you know, the circumstances are going to present in such a way that you may experience uh, kind of like insecurity at your place at work and as well insecurity at uh, your relationship or maybe either both. The accompanied card here that is going to be the uh, hangman, the formation is passive uh, friends and the hangman here points a couple of things. Now first is that um, seeing where these problems are coming from that will allow you to see people for what people truly are. Uh, for example, you may thought that this is a, a very faithful and sincere co-worker that you're working with right now 
and throughout that week they try to frame you for something they try to blame you you know for something you see for what they are in reality and uh, you know that is going to allow you to obtain different perspective and to associate yourself as well with different people or with different circumstances which are going to be much better for you in the grand scheme of things for the overall growth career or relationship wise and the other thing that the hangman says here is that this is a, a test a test of fate should i say that way how calm you can be and how uninitiative you can be as well because having the hangman especially in such a formation it means that in order for you to persevere and everything to resolve to result uh, to to resolve excuse me all that you need to do is just exactly nothing which um leads me to another thought here is that contributing for managing the crisis someone else did it is the last thing you want to do that is further supported here with the judgment on the second place but we are going to get there in a minute so basically this the whole week it's an aspect where you will have to basically mind your own business no matter how tempting it is to show yourself capable of managing someone else's crisis especially talking about career just looking at it from that perspective uh you work with someone upon an important project and that person fucks up significantly okay so at that point they try to place the blame on you that it was your fault and uh basically at that point everybody will know who which fault that is you trying to prove yourself right in the situation where you you know constantly explaining yourself how it is not your fault only makes you look guilty in front of your boss, in front of the clients, you know, in front of the other co-workers as well. Instead, just maintain the, um, the silent treatment here and attend only to your business. Allow this situation of, not conflict, but this situation of plights to unfold on its own accord because that person uh, which fucked up, uh, they, they can only talk at that moment and they can taunt you, it is my point. And should you answer to the taunt, it is the only thing you want, you don't want to do. It is because that is going to involve you in the situation more than you want and is going to transfer those plights from them to you, which is as well something you don't want throughout this week. Uh, <clears throat> on a more abstract level here, uh, guys, let's say that you are dating with someone, just to give you an example for that, you know, things are not going, um, things may kind of like face a certain walls throughout the week and with these cards you need to know that that is not your fault. Maybe this person is testing you to see how much you are betting on the situation, how desperate you are to have them, you know, and showing them that you are more desperate than you are, or, you know, you are ready to do whatever it takes to be with them, uh, is going to just place them in a position of power to abuse you in any way, you know, to abuse your kindness, your, your sensitivity, and so on and so forth. So for that week, you need to know how much you're worth, how much your, uh, your effort's worth as well, and um, what is the result of your actions also, because as I said, these difficulties that your career or your relationship is going to face, it, they are not because of you, but someone is going to try to see, to, to seem that way, and someone is going to try to frame you for them. So that leads us to the second card here, which is the things you should not do. Having the judgment means no involvement whatsoever. You are not part of it and you don't want to be a part of it at all, either career wise or either relationship wise. As a matter of fact, having this card here, uh, <clears throat> uh, what was I was about to say? Well, it just came to my mind, guys. Um, should you chase a reconciliation throughout the week? Having this card here means that your ex has to do the effort to, um, to reconcile the relationship with the judgment card. Not you, but they has to make the very first step and if not walking all the way to you, uh, if that makes any sense. But <clears throat> the judgment points that the puzzle, the scheme, that these plights are coming from it is not something you want to involve yourself in and 
on another hand as well, it is not something you can manage as well because it is not your business. It is literally what the card points. Um, you cannot find the resolution for someone else, you know, and you cannot find the, um, how can I express that? The opportunity to shine trying to prove that you can do better than them or rather like that you can manage the crisis that they have created. That is due to the fact that you contributing into that crisis with this card falling here is just gonna make you guilty, look guilty that you do also have some contribution, contribution into the formation of the crisis at all. So just once again, mind your own personal business and no one else's with the judgment and uh, they are, uh, Accompanied card here, this is going to be the Seven of Swords. The formation is active friends and non-confronting, it is what the Seven of Swords points. You should not lose your temper. You should not uh, confront the situation nor storm it in any way. And now as the card says that you gotta stand for your personal rights or the subject of the reading has to stand for their rights, there is nothing you have to stand for. It is because what happened, it was not, once again, it was not your fault. You have nothing, um, nothing connecting you to it. And the only connection you can create is just, you know, involving yourself into the matter, into the schemes, into those nefarious uh, actions and so on and so forth. So inactivity is the virtue of the game here. And uh, keeping up, keeping up your presence, staying, uh, staying tall, should I say, confident in, um, confident in yourself and in your performance, and uh, overall, and mainly into that that you have nothing to do with the plights, with the plights arising at the horizon from someone else's mistake. It is the, um, it is the standpoint that you should adopt for throughout the week. Just to give you a quick example of that, you know, let's say um, relationship-wise, your partner screws up with something and uh, they try to blame you for it. You know, let's say that you planned a vacation and uh, something happened along the way on their behalf, but they tried to blame you because you haven't helped them to overcome it and that's why the vacation isn't happening and so on and so forth. Well, instead of you, you know, arguing with them, it's just keep the silent treatment, tell, tell them to deal with it and so on and so forth so they can understand, you know, that they cannot boss you around and they, they cannot basically put the whole blame on you because this time around, you are guilty of nothing. You ain't the reason why things are not going in the way that everybody wants to go. And uh, being confident into that statement, not constantly um, explaining yourself why you are not into this, it is the best possible approach toward the situation, or it is the best possible way how you can overcome the uh, negative approach toward the situation. So no involvement whatsoever, no cooperation whatsoever. Just strain yourself from these moments of plights. And uh, then what we do have is the third card, which points to the positive approach toward the situation, going with the general the thesis here of minding your own business. The emperor is asking you to show yourself very consistent, reliable, and as well um, capable to do your part of the task. Your part, not their part, your part. Giving you an example straight away, let's say that that is a project that contains 10 tasks that needs to be accomplished. You are assigned to five of these tasks. The person who screwed up is assigned for, with the other five tasks, all right? You should focus on your, only your tasks at this very moment and let them fail with the other five tasks. It is because if you manage that crisis right now for them, that is going to be how you will have to deal with it further into the future. So showing yourself reliable with your own personal business, with your assignments and with what you signed for, it is the virtue of the game. 
and not with everybody and not with everything else so this time around Sagittarius is you cannot save the world guys well you can all right you can save the world but you will be blamed for it if that makes uh, if that makes sense so uh, this here stands the maxima that nothing no good deed is left unpunished and you're going to be punished for the attempting of making a good deed so instead turn your glance turn your look at your personal uh, at your personal tasks and personal enterprises and so on and so forth things that you have 100% control on and try to structure them, try to systemize them, do a plan for those five tasks, for example, do a plan for yourself um, and systemize your, your part of the responsibilities into your relationship and let your partner to do their part as well because you cannot do all, okay, because doing all have nothing harmonious in it because the emperor, the, the whole thing that the emperor does there is to restore harmony into one endeavor. And by you structuring your environment in the way of systemizing your personal priorities, not the, the entire priorities of the entire thing, but your personal priorities that are related to that thing, <clears throat> is going to allow you to create more room for personal freedom and as well will allow you to face the ups and downs which could come as a... Uh, uh, as a consequences of these plights with much bigger ease. The additional card here is going to be the page of cups, the, the page of wands, excuse me. Yeah, the page of wands. It is a good thing that my camera has a reflection. It's just I can see the card when I draw it. But yeah, the page of uh, wands here as a uh, formation points to active, um, active supporters and it's another confirmation that you gotta play solo this, uh, this time around. You know, uh, in the majority of the cases, it is always good to take one for the team, but not this time around, all right? This time around is everybody for themselves. It's all for one, or free for all, excuse me. It's free for all, and you gotta play your cards right, and you gotta attend to only your responsibilities. Otherwise, like I said, you are to be tested in, in that behalf, or in this, uh, in this narrative, and... Um, uh, like I said, if you try to basically contribute into someone else's plights, you are only just going to look guilty of that you were the reason these plights to be there on the first place. Additionally, additionally, with the page here, should you systemize your, uh, your responsibilities and your tasks and your deeds? Another example here straight away, you uh, recently divorced, let's say, and now you are kind of like sorting out, you know, uh, how to take care for the kids that you do have together. You got to do your part only and you got to allow your wife or husband to do their part, their part as well. OK, so you should not do the whole part and then whine that your wife or husband doesn't do enough. That is because you don't allow them to do so and at the end of the day when you do everything in it for your kids I mean cover up covering up the responsibilities of that the other parent has you're going to be blamed that you're not doing them right all right so basically allow that person who blames you for something to do it better than you and the last card that we do have for you, Sagittarius, is here, which is the final outcome of growth. Should you follow the guidance of Tarot, that is going to be the Seven of Wands. So what that card means is that you have passed the test. Basically, you stood strong for your personal standpoints and uh, behind your responsibilities. On top of that, you have defined your boundaries, meaning that you to care only for what you signed for and not for, for what you have been asked. You know, guys, I had that issue when I was working full-time job where, you know, I have been hired for a specific job and then another part of the, uh, of the management come around and they tried to make me do whatever they said. So it's they, things didn't go very well for them. It's basically I told them that they cannot make me do whatever they say because I signed for a specific job, all right? And it is exactly what I'm going to do. Nothing less, nothing more. 
well, that is the thing that you need to do as well. Additionally to the seven of wands, at the end of the week, when you pass that test here of plights appearing in many different gazes, you know, and making your either relationship or a place at work a bit uh, seemingly a bit insecure, um, the whole point of this uh, transit, should I say that way, or this progression is to, um, is to consolidate only on your place and that is going to present you with some circumstances at the end of the week that is going to require acute readiness for action and should you take advantage of those circumstances that depends entirely on you you're going to scope and seize the moment correctly but should you act on it well that is entirely entirely your decision the accompanied card here that is going to be the four of swords which does points that the original issues you are facing at the start of the week are no longer going to be in present there. So the, the clamor into the gloom and into the doom and gloom is no longer be, um, is no longer be existing. And uh, as well with the Four of Swords, it does look like, however, that this person who tried to frame you for something they did or tried to blame you for something they haven't done, uh, is going to try to pull the same nefarious actions further into the future. So as soon as the, the matter is resolved here throughout the week, uh, you need to confront them only after the matter is resolved, okay? That next time they try to pull the same bullshit once again, there are going to be uh, consequences which they don't want to face, okay? So you need to make them aware that next time you are not going to be so quiet and they don't want you to, to speak or take actions against them. So that was uh, your weekly tarot reading Sagittarius for um, March 11th to March uh, 17th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And once again, that was a general reading for Sagittarius star sign. And for that reason, it's going to resonate in a different way and level with every single different Sagittarius. If you want more personal touch, meaning your personal situation to be analyzed by me through tarot cards and to give you a prediction for the future for it, that is a matter of a private reading. And for such, you can check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there on the very front page, you're going to find full list of my services as well as their pricing. Rod signing out now. See you next time. Bye.